I made an ad for KSI and Logan Paul. So the new prime hydration drink taking over the market has released a new variation of their drinks in a stick form. Using my knowledge in product photography and my skills in Adobe Photoshop, I'm going to create the best ad possible for the new prime hydration drinks. And don't forget to stick to the end for the taste test. All right, real quick, what equipment am I using? I am using the Canon EOS R with a 24 to 105 millimeter F4L. Along with that, I am using the newer Vision 4. This camera with this strobe has been one of my best combos for some of my best photography. So hopefully it does well this time, you know? All right, one thing I'm gonna have to do is actually carefully open this box without damaging it. If I, for some reason, do damage it or get it wet, I can easily fix it in Photoshop. However, the less work you have to do at the end of the day, a lot better. I'm gonna take a knife and carefully cut off that tape. I'll put the knife to the side because I have a bad history with knives. Nothing criminal, just I cut myself on accident a lot. I'm gonna carefully open it here, pull out the stick, and that is beautiful. For the first photo, gonna be very simple. I'm gonna have the sticks, the prime box, and the bottle all next to each other. Now I'm gonna just take the photo. I'm gonna shoot vertically first, one, two, three. That looks pretty cool, actually. That looks sick, I like that a lot. Alrighty, what is an ice pop prime without some actual ice? I'm gonna be doing some stuff. Alrighty, for the first set, I actually have some ice. I'm gonna pray that the packaging doesn't get too destroyed when we make it wet. All right, now for this, I'm getting a little dangerous. For this one, I got the We Light Sprite 20. I'm gonna add a color beneath the light. I'm gonna start with red. I literally went the entire way around like a dummy. Mm, just staring at a light is not fun. We got a little bit more of a glow, and then I'm hand holding again. Get directly on it, shoot from the top. All right, what I'm noticing is I don't like the box being it by itself. It's a little bit too boring for me. Uh, for this one, I'm actually gonna take the slab of ice out. Now for these next few, I'm gonna take the slabs of ice out. I'm gonna put the box standing upright. I like the angle I'm shooting at right now. I just realized the prime was faced the wrong direction. So there we go. Gonna go a little higher. Okay, not bad. Uh, I just, I want more ice. I feel like the slab is too obvious, so I'm gonna put more ice in the foreground. The crazy thing about this is I'm literally working on a timer because if that ice melts, it is not gonna look the same. All right, now we need to start introducing the actual sticks in. How the heck am I gonna do this? I don't, I don't like that. I'm gonna take the photo anyway though. No, not, not doing it, not doing it. I'm gonna put it on this side, test it out. Please, please, please. Oh, it stayed, it stayed. All right, let's see how this looks. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Now let's not forget the other thing we gotta introduce, the bottle. Okay, good thing to know the box is actually very water resistant, thankfully. Um, without that, I might be screwed. I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of the drink by itself. I think that'll make a really good photo. I'm gonna bring this light up and down. Okay, let's try that. I'm gonna open up the barn doors a little bit to give a little bit more light into that ice. I'm gonna turn it slightly because I don't think it was directly on it. And then, ooh, that's cool. Sick. Now, let me grab something from the freezer. All right, every American household knows what these are. Ice pops. Let's do a taste test of these first. Eh, it's all right. Put a stick there, put a stick, ooh, hmm. I don't want them to all be facing the same direction. I'm gonna put one standing up, probably one more here. Please stay, thank you. 
appreciate that. I'm gonna turn the red down a bit. Here's what I got going on right now. Got a few of the popsicles, got the ice, and then I got the ice pop prime hydration sticks. I'm gonna shoot a horizontal for this one first. Not bad. I think I can get it a little better. I'm gonna shoot straight on. Nice, not too shabby. Alrighty, as promised, the whole point of this video was to make an ad, and that's what we're doing with right now. I am in Photoshop, but first, as also promised, I'm gonna do a taste test. Prime Ice Pop. I remember exactly how this one tastes, and I loved it. So now, we're gonna check it out. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. It tastes exact. It tastes exactly like this one. Like a exactly. Over my extensive research on prime hydration and going through different flavors, I've noticed my favorite flavors. First is gonna be ice pop. Second is gonna be orange. After that, it's gonna be the blue raspberry. Prime is going in the right direction and so am I. I am in the magical world of Photoshop, but this is what I am working with. I got the prime stick pack, so I'm in Photoshop. I need to get rid of this white space. I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm gonna do the clone stamp tool. There's plenty of black space to work with back here. So I'm gonna hit Alt V. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Very simple, very simple. There are little specks in here that look like fuzz. I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna look on their website and look for a slogan, slogan, slogan. Ooh, a better thing is to actually put the product um, I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm gonna use my favorite font at the moment, Europa Bold. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. On the go hydration, I'm gonna make it white. Make it a little bit smaller, actually. I'm gonna go for 60 point font. And then can I center you? There we go. I'm gonna make another text box and then I need to write hydration sticks. I have the text spread out a little bit. I'm gonna set it to something like 30. And then it looks like on their website, it is a little bit bolder. That looks good. I have to lower it a little bit because there's too much empty space. I'm gonna try one last thing before it's finished. I'm gonna grab the ice cubes, just the ice cubes, not the actual box. And then I'm gonna try coloring them. I'm gonna use the simplest form, which is creating a new layer, setting that mode to color and simply coloring them the same colors. Last thing is to clean up any specks on the actual box. There's a little crease right here. Gonna take that away and boom. On the go hydration sticks, ice pot flavored, Prime Hydration. I'm gonna try putting this on KSI subreddit. Maybe he'll see it. Anyway, let's get back to it. So yeah, photo fam, it's been your boy, Eddie Herrera. I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I got a lot more photo shoots, a lot more photography videos coming out, so don't worry. I really enjoyed making today's video, and I hope y'all did too. I will catch y'all in the next episode. Whenever that is, take it easy, y'all. Bye bye yeah.